Hey, this is JRiz43 bringing you another rain meter tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a mini game launcher or application launcher. This is inspired by the mini Steam launcher that you see here on the screen. I'll put the link in the description down below where you can download that. That just links to your Steam account and pulls the last three or five or ten games that you've played and displays it there and you can launch the games from there. But I thought I wanted to make some custom ones. Um, here's an example. I've already created one for Borderlands here. Now if I left click on any of these it'll launch the game and then from the icon I can right click and close the launcher. Since I already have that made we're going to use the code from that to create our own custom one for a few Counter-Strike programs. So we'll have Counter-Strike 1.6, Counter-Strike Source, and Counter-Strike Global Offensive. First thing I'm going to do is show you the code for the Steam Mini Launcher. There is a lot of code in here. Um, they're using some custom things to go to the web and pull your last five games and uh, we're not really worried about any of that what we want is down here in the layout section really all they're doing is they're saying here's the first image the second image the third fourth and fifth and what order to put them and that's really all we care about so if we look at the borderlands mini launcher that i've already created i'm going to pull up the i'm going to pull up the code for that and here we have it one two three images all you need is three pictures or banners for the games or the applications that you're using that are the same size i've used a width of 230 and height of 107 just because it matches these steam banners that's the size they were and they look good when they're next to each other we're going to go to a website that i've used to get the borderlands banners you see right there all you have to do is just Google Steam Banners, and it's going to be the top option. I'm going to put that in the description down below. And from here, you can just search any game that you want. So let's just put Counter-Strike. And as you can see, we've got Counter-Strike Source. Uh, we've got global offensive, a couple different ones. Here's condition zero and uh, 1.6. And these are all pulled from the Steam store and they're the banners that you'll see in the actual Steam. So what we're gonna do is download, let's grab 1.6 and we'll grab source and we'll grab global offensive. Now in order to create your own skin, you have to go to Documents, Rain Meter, and Skins. And th this is a list of all the skins that you have. Uh, I have a lot on my system. But in order to create your own, really all you need to do is create a new folder. So this is the Counter-Strike Mini Launcher. So I'm going to call it Counter-Strike Mini. And then what you need to do is create a new text document in that folder. We'll call that Counter-Strike Mini. And what you have to do is you have to change it from TXT extension to INI. And say yes to that. Really all that does is it tells Rain Meter that, hey, this includes a skin. So if we go into the Rain Meter Manager here, we can refresh everything. And there it is, you can see Counter-Strike Mini showed up. There it is, I can hit load, but we haven't put anything in there yet, so we'll wait to do that. Let's go ahead, go ahead and open up your new INI file, and it's blank. Now I'm gonna use my Borderlands one as a reference. The main thing that you need is a title for each one. So like you see there on the screen, we're just gonna call this one one, and then we'll call the other ones two and three. 
rain meter needs to know what type of object this is. So you're going to call it a meter equals image. And then we're going to want to tell it what image to display. So now we can go back to our steam banners. With number one, we're going to want it to be Counter Strike 1.6. So save these images. And you're going to want to go into Documents, Rain Meter, Skins. Go to your new folder you created, in this case, Counter Strike Mini. And then we're going to name that. Let's see, we'll just name it 1-6.png. I found that .png works best with Rain Meter. It just seems to work with them better. And we'll go ahead and do that for source. We'll just call that source. And for global offensive, we'll just call it go. Now, as you can see in your folder that you created for your new skin, you have the three images in that same folder. Now, that helps because you could put them somewhere else. And in your code, you'd have to tell you'd have to put the full path of where they are. So like in your downloads or wherever you, you have them. If they're in the same folder as the I and I, you just tell it the name of the image. There you go. It's pretty easy. So what we're going to do is image name equals one dash six dot PNG. Now, if we saved it like this and we ran it, it would show the image and that would be fine. But what we need to do is tell it where to put the image. So we're going to put in some X and Y coordinates. This first image is going to be wherever you drag it around to. So we're going to just do X equals zero, Y equals zero. And here you can put the custom width and height. If your image is uh, the right width and height that you want, you don't have to put the width and height. It'll just display the image. But uh, when you put in custom width and height, it will resize it for you. So let's put in width equals 230, height equals 107. And now since this is Counter-Strike 1.6, when we click on the banner, we actually want it to launch the game. The easiest way to launch a game is to have a desktop shortcut. Now I don't have Counter-Strike 1.6 installed, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it here. Make sure to hit that Create Desktop Shortcut. I'm going to do the same for Source, Desktop Shortcut. And then I already have Global Offensive installed, and I am going to create a desktop shortcut for that one as well. So now that you have those, let's grab 1.6. You're going to right click on it and go to Properties. And now in this URL field, it's going to show the Steam Game ID. And it looks like for Counter Strike 1.6, it's Steam ID number 10. So you're going to copy and paste that. And now here's where you can customize it a little bit. You can say on right click, open the game or left click or double click or hover. You can do pretty much any mouse action with rain meter, but I'm going to do a regular left click should run the game. So by putting left mouse down action equals, and then if you put it inside of this bracket, it knows to actually run that code. We're going to copy and paste that in there. Bam. So now when we click on this 1-6 image, it will launch Counter-Strike 1.6. Now as you can see here on the code for my Borderlands mini launcher, I have a 
left mouse up. So when you release the click, what it'll do is it'll fade away and hide the mini launcher that we created. So it's not just sitting there in the background while you're playing your game. So we put left mouse up action equals toggle fade. And now from here, we just need to name the skin that we created. We have to put the name of the skin and then the INI file. So we called this counter strike mini counter strike mini dot INI close it with the quotations and there we go. So that is our first image down. And let's move on to the next. Now that you have all three images in there, we've got 1-6, source, and go. You will have all three of them on top of each other. The big thing to note here is the first image starts at coordinates 0, 0. The second one, since the height is 102, I put Y, so it's going to move down 112 pixels. So what that'll do is it'll give it a five pixel padding between each image. And so 112 here and 224 there. So that it'll give it a little bit of space in between so you know where one banner starts and one banner ends. So let's go ahead and save our INI file. You can minimize that. Now if we open the rain meter manager and we refresh we just want to make sure it got all of our changes and we go to our skin ini file and we hit load there we go we should have all of the images and it's going to start up in the top left of your screen you can normally click and drag all of the skins for rain meter but with these if you click it'll launch a game in order to move this around the screen hold control and then click and drag. So we want to put it down by this icon so it, it launches right by the Counter-Strike honeycomb that I have there. Awesome. Okay, so there it is. But how do we get it to show up by clicking on this icon? So we're going to get into the settings for that honeycomb icon. And right now all it's going to do is run counter-strike go and we don't want that I actually don't want it to do anything on the left mouse up action so what we're gonna do is get rid of that and go right mouse down action equals and we're gonna want it to pull up that mini launcher that we just created so just like we did before with the code in the mini launcher to make sure it disappears when we launch a game, we're going to put that same line of code here. So it's toggle, fade, and then the skin name. So this was Counter-Strike Mini. Counter-Strike Mini. So that will toggle and fade it when we right click on the honeycomb icon or whatever icon you use and it will launch the mini launcher application we just created. So let's go ahead and save that. We want to refresh the skin that you put that code into. And now when we right click on it, we see that it fades away and it toggle fades. So you can just right click on it and it will go away. Now it's hidden right now and you can just leave it like that. And anytime you want to pull it up, go ahead and pull it up. And now one of the things I like to do is give this a little bit of transparency, about 20% and a fade in action so that when you hover over it it kind of comes into focus and there you have it 
Now you can use this same code to create any mini launcher that you want. You can have it run applications, games, whatever you want it to do, as long as you get you know, fairly equal sized pictures to line up with each other and you can create something just like this here. I'll make sure to link everything that I used in the description down below. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments. If you liked the video, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.